This film is about two lifelong best friends who have two sons from their previous marriages. When the boys grow up, both the friends get attracted to each other's son and eventually begin a steamy affair with them. However, when one of the sons craves a lover at his own age, trouble begins to brew for all of them. Hey guys, Movies Hunter here. This is a drama romance film released in 2013 called Adore. Before we start, there is a small announcement. We are giving away our subscription free of cost. All you need to do is grab that red subscribe button and you are good to go. Completely free of cost. We wanted to clear this out because more than 95% of you haven't subscribed yet. <laughs> so yeah, it's free guys. Zero charges. Anyway, let's get back to the movie. The film begins in New South Wales. We see two young girls playing together near the beach. They are best friends and their families live next door to each other. Years later, the two girls have grown up. Her name is Lil and her name is Roz. One day, everyone gathers to mourn the death of Lil's husband. Both Lil and Roz have become mothers and each has a son from their respective marriages. Just like Lil and Roz, their sons are also best friends, like mother like son. Years later, the two boys have also grown up and have just turned 18. This young man is Roz's son and his name is Tom. And this one is Lil's son and his name is Ian. The four of them spend their day together chilling near the beach. One evening, Roz's husband Harold tells Roz that he has been offered a job at Sydney University. He has accepted the offer and wants his wife and son to move in with him in Sydney. But Roz doesn't want to move yet as she is too attached to her hometown. The next day at work, a not-so-charming man named Saul approaches Lil and asks her out on a date. But as expected, Lil refuses as she obviously doesn't like him. After a couple of days, Harold leaves for Sydney alone to make all the arrangements. Roz and Tom are supposed to follow in a couple of weeks, but everything is going to change for the two later in the movie. Later that day, Roz goes out swimming in the ocean alone. When she swims to the floating dock, she sees that her best friend's son is already there. The two are obviously feeling attracted to each other, but they don't want to cross the line. Well, at least not yet. Later on, the four of them gather at Roz's house to have some drinks. Lil then plays her favorite song and starts dancing. Tom also joins her and the two dance together. I am not judging, but I don't think I will call this dancing. Anyways, since Tom gets too drunk, Ian decides to stay to look after Tom. But as for Lil, she decides to return home. At night, when Tom is fast asleep, Ian goes to Rose's room and kisses her without any hesitation. Jesus Christ. Although Ian declares that he wants to cross the line, Roz hesitates at first. But since she doesn't want to turn this handsome young man down, she also decides to cross the line. Sometime later, Tom wakes up to grab a drink. But as he leaves, he witnesses his mother coming out of Ian's room with her pants in her hands. It doesn't take much time for Tom to realize that his best friend is romancing his mother. Confused and frustrated, Tom goes to meet Lil the next morning. He confesses that he too doesn't want to move to Sydney, as he likes living near the beach. He then attempts to kiss Lil out of the blue, but Lil quickly pushes him away. She is shocked by Tom's actions and demands an explanation. Tom opens up and tells Lil what he saw last night. After listening to him, Lil is in complete disbelief that her best friend is romancing her son. She doesn't know how to react or even how to approach her best friend about this. Now that Ian and Roz are spending the night together, Tom goes to Lil's house to spend the night there. He is clearly mad at his mother and best friend for ruining everything. At night, Tom goes to Lil's bedroom and sleeps next to her. Lil is aware of this but doesn't react as if she too wants him to be there. The next morning, Tom starts caressing Lil. Lil also eventually gives in and she too crosses the line. Wow. Later on, Tom returns home and proudly tells Roz that he did it with Lil, just like she did it with Ian. Roz is shocked by this and goes straight to Lil's workplace to confront her. 
They both are ashamed and feel guilty for romancing each other's son, so they decide to make sure it never happens again. Later on, Lil tells Ian that he can't romance Roz anymore, but Ian confesses that he loves Roz. He then goes straight to Roz's house to talk to her. Roz tells him that it's over and it won't happen again. But just so the movie doesn't end there, Ian doesn't want it to stop and starts touching Roz. Roz eventually gives in to his advances and they end up crossing the line once again. Meanwhile, Tom and Lil are also crossing the line back at Lil's house. The next day, Roz and Lil meet again to discuss their unusual affair. Both Roz and Lil admit that they're happy with the boys in their life, so they finally agree to keep doing it as long as it lasts. One day, Harold returns home to take his wife and son with him, since he has no idea about what was cooking while he was gone. Roz, as expected, tells Harold that neither she nor Tom will move in with him to Sydney, as now both of them have a reason to stay. Roz is willing to give up on her marriage, for someone who may probably not be with her for long. One day, Saul comes to Lil's house and asks her out on a date again. He is quite a determined man, but Roz, who is also there with Lil, speaks on behalf of Lil and tells him that Lil is not interested in him. But Saul, being a thick-headed man, misunderstands them and assumes that Roz and Lil are a couple. So he leaves without saying a word while Lil and Roz are laughing out loud. Now that both the women are free from the old men in their life, they openly spend their time with their two sons. Good for them. Two years pass by, and Ian now works with his mother in her company, whereas Tom is now studying theater. One day, Harold invites Tom to Sydney to direct one of their plays. Harold is married now, and even as a child with his new wife. During the audition, Tom comes across Mary, who is auditioning for the lead role. The two are instantly attracted to each other and start dating in no time. Back at home, Roz and Ian are still together. Roz knows that just like Tom, Ian will not be attracted to her for much longer. Meanwhile, Lil learns about Mary and reluctantly accepts that the day she feared has arrived, and Tom has finally moved on. One month later, Tom returns home and resumes his affair with Lil as if nothing changed. One day, Harold and Mary also come there to celebrate Tom's 21st birthday. At the party, Lil sees Tom and Mary together and is feeling jealous. After the party, Tom drives Mary to her hotel and spends the night with her. Lil is heartbroken by this and finally accepts that Tom is no longer interested in her. Roz also fears that she too may have to face the situation sooner or later. So they decide to end their relationship with the boys for good. When they break the news to Ian and Tom, Ian gets upset as he doesn't want to break up with Roz. Roz tries to reason with Ian, but he storms out. One day, Tom eventually marries Mary. At the wedding, Ian meets a girl named Hannah. Oh shit. Roz sees them together and feels jealous, but she can't do anything now. To get back at her, Ian decides to date Hannah. But later that night, Ian bangs on Roz's door and begs to be let in. But Roz doesn't open the door and quietly cries in her room. Frustrated, Ian goes surfing alone and ends up breaking his leg in an accident. At the hospital, Ian refuses to see Roz. Hannah comes to visit him, as she cares about Ian. She even nurses him through his physical therapy to help him get better. One night, Ian calls Roz's name in his dreams. When Hannah asks him about her, Ian replies that he considers Roz as his second mother. One day, when Ian and Tom meet up for lunch, Ian tells Tom that his relationship with Hannah is going nowhere, so he decides to end the relationship for good. But later that day, Hannah shows up at Ian's workplace and tells him that she is pregnant. Not exactly what Ian was expecting. A couple of years later, Ian is now married to Hannah. Both Tom and Ian have a daughter from their respective marriages. They are all a happy family and they spend their time chilling on the beach. When most of them are in the water, Ian and Roz share a quiet moment. Later that night, after having dinner together, Lil takes her leave and leaves her home. Shortly afterwards, Tom gets drunk and goes to take a walk to clear his head. 
Ian finds this suspicious and follows him, only to find him romancing his mother. Furious, Ian goes straight to confront Roz and yells at her for believing that it was over. Mary and Hannah are also there and are listening to everything. Oh no. Ian, without a second thought, tells them that he and Tom had an affair with each other's mother for many years. Mary and Hannah are horrified by this revelation and decide to leave with their daughters, vowing never to see their husbands again. Later, when Tom returns home, he finds Roz sitting alone all by herself. She tells Tom that she doesn't think any of them are ever coming back. The next morning, Lil tearfully admits to Roz that they stopped at the same time as Ian and Roz, but she and Tom could not keep away from each other for long and eventually resumed their affair only a few weeks after Tom's marriage. Lil tries to justify her actions, but Roz has no words for her. Time passes by and Ian goes for a swim one morning. He gets on the floating dock in the water, the same dock where he first got attracted to Roz and where Roz and Lil used to chill as girls. When he climbs up, he finds Tom, Lil, and Roz chilling there. Ian also joins them and lies down beside Roz. Despite feeling guilty for their actions, they decide to forget about the past and continue their affair as if nothing happened. Wow. And so this was the story of Adore. For more such interesting movies, do subscribe to our channel. See you in the next hunt.